looking at uh, powder coated expanded metal gutter screen. It comes up against an end cap. If this were to be put in here like this, you'd have a you'd have a gap you got to fill. So we've cut it in two directions here. Take our hand seamers. Bend that down nice and sharp like that. This kind of screen has to, the front lip of the gutter has to fit in here and it has to go all the way in tight. So we're going to push that in until it clicks. We're going to shove it over tight against the end cap. Then we're going to take a drill and put a screw right in the tip of it there. And now we're sealed about this. This has been fitted up with Style D. As you can see when this is on there is scarcely a quarter of an inch overlap. So if you go underneath all layers of roofing, presented like this, if you go underneath all of it, there's a good chance that this is just going to fall into the gutter. So when there is not a Style D, the object is to get the gutter screen threaded between the starter course of the roof and whatever the shingle is. So you end up with a situation like this. That's also a nice smooth transition that doesn't catch any yuck. Okay? When you come to the end and you're getting ready to put the next piece on, piece on, you'll see that this comes pre-notched so that there's an overlap. And sometimes in handling that gets kind of mashed up a little bit. Put that in there like that. Get that all the way down. And I'll put this screw on this side of the lap, hold it down, and we're going to need at least another screw over here. Wouldn't hurt to have another one here. The easiest way to do this is to pre-thread all of your gutter screen up under the roof like this get it all in first and then pull it down until it clicks in the front and the best thing to do that is the gold screw or nail or whatever so if we're up underneath the shingle you can grab this like this after it's already fed in pull this down. You got to get it all the way forward so it nestle, nestles into that. And then put another screw in it. And that is what finished gutter screen supposed to look like.